While Auckland has been preparing itself for the America's Cup Challenger Series, the Prada Cup, the Vondi Globe Fleet has been sailing past the south of New Zealand. In fact, right now they're on their way to Cape Horn. But it's been an extraordinary race right from the start. We saw some of the big names forced to pull out of the race early on in proceedings. Then the weather refused to play ball, at least in the way that most people had expected it. We had upwind conditions, light weather, shifty breezes. It shuffled the pack several times. We've also not seen the same level of breakdowns, touch wood, fingers crossed, that you'd normally expect from a Vondi Globe. It has been quite a light weather event so far. But one of the other interesting things about the Vondi Globe is that we've seen some really interesting performances from older boats and rookie crews. It really has been quite a shake-up. Steve Angsell picks up the story so far. The Roaring Forties occasionally lived up to its name for the spread out fleet of single-handers, but so did the rarest of conditions, flat calms and warm high pressure conditions unseen in this remotest part of the world. Out in front for almost a fortnight was Yannick Bessavant on Mate Cock, with early leader Charlie Dallin in second, having fixed his foil problem. Linked out was fourth, and rookie Damien Seguin third aboard Group Abbasile, the first 60 without the aid of foils. The Paralympic sailor was born without the use of a left hand. The chasing pack of Lecam, Harriman and Josk ran the ice line, hoping for a better weather system, and repaired Louis Berton lying to the north, in the winning boat from the previous Vendée, also hoped a following low-pressure system would shorten gaps to the leaders. Clarice Kremer aboard Bank Populaire 10, hanging on to the chasing posse, and then a long way back to the middle pack, being led by a Brit Pip Hare on Medallia on her first Vendée. Another Brit on her first solo round the world, the seasoned Miranda Merrill, who first crossed the Atlantic aged just nine, was lying back in 23rd place. Christmas Day, South Indian Ocean, just above the Australian ice limits. An absolutely glamour day. The wind is building slowly as forecast. I hope that you're all enjoying Christmas wherever you are. And uh, by the way, this is the first time in my life that I have worn a Santa hat. There's always a first for everything. Up ahead of Miranda in 16th was Pip Hare, sailing the 21-year-old Medallia on its fifth circumnavigation, but Pip's first race around the world. It's a really lovely day out here today, and I'm just making the most of the fact that the deck is reasonably dry. And I've come outside to drink a cup of tea. I've learned that, you know, we've got these really intense periods of of hard sailing which takes it out of you and you kind of think I'm not doing a lot why am I why am I tired why is this taking it out of me but I, I guess it's just the intensity of it and the, you know my mind is working all the time and, and the boats just surging and rushing and banging and you know I'm learning that I need to just give myself a little bit of time on these days too and actually just coming out here, chilling, looking at the waves and doing nothing in particular. It's okay, I give myself permission. I've had an uh, eventful afternoon. Um, I wrapped the kite. <laughs> it was so stupid as well. Just me focusing on a detail and not the big picture. Did a dive, which was quite a nice dive actually. Came out of it quite nicely. But as ever, the lazy sheet went under the boat. It just, it, I don't know, this boat just seems so bad for it. So it went under the boat and I was worried about it getting stuck in the rudder. So I ran forwards to go and sort the lazy sheet out. And, um, and was head down, pulling the sheet out of the water, it was stuck under the boat, I dialed down a couple of degrees just to try and slow the boat down, make it easier, and the spinnaker just went ooh, 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 wine glass. Uh, I think the most gutting thing is I reckon I lost about 10, 12 miles probably, and I've just been creeping up the inside, 
I lost all those miles. Easy come, easy go. Still leading the female charge in fifth place overall was the Franco-German Isabel Jot. Et ben le bilan des 50 premiers jours, c'est que je suis super contente et super fière de ma course. Et je croise les doigts pour que ça continue comme ça. Et sinon à bord de MACSF. Aujourd'hui ça file. Ça glisse. Ça freine, ça tape. C'est reparti à... avec des embruns. Après les quelques jours de pétole, ça déménage. Second lady in the water in 12th overall was 30-year-old Clarisse Kremer aboard Bank Populaire 10. En 2021, c'est une très très belle année. Moi, je suis un peu perdue euh, en termes de date, de tout ça. Là, ça fait 48 heures que je suis dans la baston. Là, il y a une petite accalmie, vous voyez, je peux sortir dehors sans être euh, en ciré. Mais euh, ça fait 48 heures que j'ai un peu 25 et 40 nœuds. Là, il y a un peu moins de grain d'un coup. Ça fait du bien, c'est reposant. Luis Berton, on board Bureau Valet, was up in second place a month ago, but he stopped at the remote Macquarie Island to repair masthead fittings. Bonjour à tous, deuxième montée, troisième montée en fait, deuxième sous l'île Macquarie. Euh, J'espère que vous apprécierez le paysage parce que moi, je déteste ça. J'ai essayé de nuit, j'ai pas réussi, je viens de réessayer. Ça a marché, on est au bout de l'île. Va falloir qu'on redescende, je vous montre. On a vu des pingouins sauter tout à l'heure avant de remonter. C'est l'angoisse d'être aussi haut tout seul. C'est le bout du monde. Ça, ça fait partie des trucs les plus, les plus hard que j'ai fait de ma vie de navigateur. Tout de suite German Boris Herman was in fourth place, wallowing in unheard of mirror flat conditions. Hey dear friends, this has been a very eventful day one day before Christmas. You don't expect an eventful day if you look behind me. Well, why, have it, why has it been eventful? Because I woke up this morning, a very early morning, by a brooch. That means the boat is thrown out of its course by too much wind in the sail, or too much sail area. So I had to take a reef in the main, and with the reef and the jib top, I was going 26 knots. So I even pulled my foil in a little bit to protect that because if the boat was fully flying. And from fully flying this morning, I have gone to fully stopped and now to this. Out in front, with Cape Horn beckoning, Yannick Bestevin found himself slogging upwind. Hey, ben, bonjour à tous. Tu vas bien à bord de Maître Coq? Auprès depuis euh, plus de 24 heures maintenant dans la dépression là. J'ai eu euh, 25, 30 tonneaux. J'hésite pour le film là, des fêtes de Noël entre euh, le Père Noël est une ordure ou euh, le bonheur est dans le pré, tu vois. Vous avez vendu, enfin euh, moi m'avait dit le Pacifique, euh, c'est top, tu vas rêver. Des sont au des glissades à n'en plus finir. Bah, pour le moment c'est. Euh, C'est plus la montée du, du tourmalet qu'on fait. Quoi. Mais bon voilà, donc euh, l'idée c'est de continuer comme ça en bâbord vers la zone des glaces. Là je serai proche du centre de la dépression. On aller traverser ce centre pour aller chercher la bascule de noix. Avec des, des bras assez forts, des, des claques à 40 nœuds, mais qui dont je serai le premier à bénéficier et qui devrait normalement, normalement, si les fichiers et euh, les analyses sont justes, euh, me propulser en premier euh, vers l'est, vers le Cap Horn. Santa Claus found time in his busy schedule to pay visits to the entire fleet. D'abord les cadeaux J'ai jamais été aussi gâté de toute ma vie. Le roi Jean Le Cam sur un très fameux bateau à Noël. C'est chouette d'avoir la compagnie. Ah. Combien Alors je suis nul à ça. Et je vais pouvoir euh, binette. 
Ou alors je vais laisser comme ça et dire que j'ai réussi à le faire. J'ai l'ange gardien qui veille sur moi. Merci la petite fille. Merry Christmas <rire> Pas de la dinguerie ça Du bon foie gras Je suis ravi, ravi de... Hein Il me va à merveille non N'est-ce pas Joyeux Noël à tous et j'espère que vous passez un bon Noël et que vous soyez. Et c'est la première fois de ma vie que je porte un bonnet comme ça. Un joyeux Noël et profitez bien de vos familles et de vos proches. Je ne vous cache pas que des fois je suis un peu humide en lisant certains bons messages. Je vous embrasse, vous aime tous. A très vite, joyeux Noël <rire> Et ouais, on n'est pas premier, on n'est pas dernier. Et c'est Noël Et ça, eh ben, on ne l'enlèvera pas. Profitez bien de ces fêtes de Noël. À tous ceux qui sont tout seuls, ben moi je suis tout seul, nous sommes ensemble. Voilà, et je vous embrasse très fort. Day 55, and tailender Sebastian Destremont now trailed the leaders by some 6,800 nautical miles, stretching the fleet all the way across the South Pacific, from Cape Lewin to Cape Horn. Medallia dropped to 16th place in her private eight-boat midfield battle, whilst the race ice limit zone was still being knocked on by the chasing front fleet. But that upwind gamble by leader Yannick Bessevin paid off as he passed the infamous Cape with a 160-mile lead over nearest rival Charlie Dalanza-Pivia, who was in turn 300 miles ahead of Thomas Rion on Linked Out.